The fixtures have been released. Hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel where today I'll be diving through the fixtures for the 2024-25 season for Hull City. Who will be first game, who will be the last game and all of the other games in between where hopefully by the end of this season Hull City are a Premier League side. So let's crack through first of all in August. So the season starts for Hull City on the 10th of August at home to Bristol City. Uh, then following up that, a week later, we make the away trip, the long away trip to Plymouth Argyle, the team that we had the last game of the season last season on. It's our first away fixture. Of course, to note on Bristol City as well. The Bristol City home game a few seasons back where Jean-Michel Serri got that late minute winner to win 2-1. Hopefully some things like that can happen. Coming off the back of the Plymouth Argyle away trip, Millwall at home and then following up the end of the month with an away trip to Yorkshire rivals Leeds United. So a very uh, favourable opening month, I must say, in the Hull City camp. Of course, we don't know the full extent of what the other teams will look like, but judging off performances last season and their business so far this summer. Um, it looks a little bit favourable for Hull City, um, certainly to take three out of those four opening um, month games. Moving into September, where we only have three fixtures, uh, that being on the 14th of September, we're at home to Sheffield United. Yes, we're at home on my birthday. How fun is that? Then we have the away trip to Stoke City on Saturday the 21st, and then back at home to finish off the month on the 28th of September. September. And then following up that, we have our first um, midweek fixture in October, and that is an away trip to Queen's Park Rangers on the Tuesday. And then on the Saturday, we're still away, and we're away at Norwich. So not the uh, the dreadful opening game of Norwich that we had last season, hopefully. Hopefully that we can actually uh, get some competent referees where they can see when the ball goes out of play and don't award goals when the ball goes out of play. That'd be lovely. Uh, then we follow up the two away trips with two home trips on the Saturday the 19th. We're at home to Sunderland and then on the following Tuesday the 22nd, we're at home to Burnley. Following that, we've taken a away trip to uh, recently promoted again Derby County on Saturday the 26th to end October. Moving into November now, and it is a home trip uh, for newly promoted side once again, Portsmouth on Saturday the 2nd. Uh, then we get to go away to Oxford United. So we've got all three um, newly promoted sides back to back to back in away, home, away, home uh, sort of situation. And then we have a home trip uh, with West Bromwich Albion on Saturday the 9th. Uh, it's not on that Oxford game. That's a Tuesday night fixture as well. Um, at Luton Town, we have them away on the 23rd of November. Um, that being a Saturday, of course, Luton Town. That was our final fixture of the season. They got promoted to Premier League. Uh, but the back now after having one season up there are not doing too badly considering what Sheffield United did. Uh, then uh, talking about Sheffield, we've got Sheffield Wednesday, another Yorkshire derby. That is at home on a Tuesday night, Tuesday. Tuesday the 26th um, of November, another Yorkshire Derby at home and Middlesbrough away finishes out November on the 30th and that's the Saturday. Moving into December now, so a, a busy period for Hull City it will be um, and we have our uh, first home game is in December and that is at home to Blackburn Rovers on Saturday and then following up the following Wednesday we have a home um, game against Watford, moving away to Coventry City the following Saturday on the 14th. And then back at home uh, for the our last game before Christmas, and that being at home to Swansea City on Saturday the 21st. And then to finish out December, we're away on two trips. Boxing Day, we're away at Preston North End, and that being a Thursday this year. And then a Sunday fixture on the 29th away at Blackburn Rovers. Moving into January, and we have a New Year's Day fixture at home. It seems like Hull City never get New Year's Day fixtures at home, but we do, so you can have uh, a lovely time at the MK Stadium on the 1st of January, which is a Wednesday, and that is against Middlesbrough. Following up that, we have a, a, a contestant of uh, Yorkshire Derby to uh, to have in the month of January, where our next game is a home fixture against Leeds United on the 4th of January, that being the Saturday. Millwall away on the um, 18th of, uh, of January. A home fixture against Queen's Park Rangers on Tuesday the 21st of January. And then a Yorkshire Derby to finish out the month away at Sheffield United Bramall Lane on 25th of January, that being a Saturday once again. 
Moving into February now, February the 1st, so uh, another first game, and it will be a home fixture against Stoke City on that Saturday, following up by two away trips to Cardiff City on Saturday the 8th, and then Burnley away on Wednesday the 12th of February. Um, and then moving on to a home fixture against Norwich City on the 15th, and then the following week away to Sunderland on the 22nd. Moving into March now, we're blazing through this. We have our home fixture against Plymouth Argyle um, on the 1st of March being the Saturday. So three months in a row where we have fixtures on the 1st of the month. That uh, is uh, a little bit strange, but that's just the way that the uh, calendar has fallen. Bristol City away is the next Saturday. And then following up that with an Oxford United home trip um, at the MKM Stadium on the 12th of March. That being the Wednesday. West Bromwich Albion is an away trip that we will take on the following Saturday, the 15th, and then the Saturday after that to finish out the month of March. Luton Town at home on that Saturday. April, busy month one again, it's Easter. So on the 5th of April, we'll take the away trip to Sheffield Wednesday, um, and then we will continue to be away for that following Tuesday, where we will go away to Watford. And then back on the 12th, we are at home to Coventry City. On the 18th, um, I believe that's Good Friday. We're away to um, Swansea City and yeah, it is on the Friday, so that's Good Friday. And then for uh, Easter Monday, we're at home um, on the 21st to Preston North End. And then to finish out the month of April, we're at home to Derby County on the 26th, being the Saturday. Our final game of the season in May, um, the 3rd of May, the final game away to Portsmouth on Saturday the 3rd of May. So that's how the fixtures look for this upcoming season. I don't think that uh, we've been actually sniffed over too badly with an overall glanced. Um, there's no like spots where we've got uh, loads of really intense fixtures. I think probably um, if if things go other teams' ways, we could have maybe a bit of a tough October with the Norwich City, the Sunderland and the Burnley game all back to back to back and maybe Queen's Park Rangers and Derby if they can put a shift over us. Uh, but other than that, I think the games are evenly spread out We're between sort of the tougher teams and uh, the not so tough teams um, in the scale of the championship. But of course, it's the championship. Anything can happen. Anyone can beat anyone. We've seen it time and time again and I'm sure that this season will be no different uh, with uh, with the teams that have joined the league. So that's what uh, the fixtures look for like for Hull City. Of course, these are all subject to change uh, with, of course, Hull FC playing uh, at the MKM Stadium where I'm sure that a few of them fixtures will get changed about for that. Of course, television, that will all change because of the new Sky Sports um, and Sky uh, Football deal. Um all of the um, all of the fixtures. I think there's like four times more fixtures on, or something like that. So uh, probably a few more of these games may be moved to either the Friday or the Sunday, or later on on the Saturday, and we'll just have to wait and see uh, for the announcements on them. But as I say, keep tuned on the YouTube channel, as I will keep you up to date on all of them, uh, little bits of information and announcements, and also all of the upcoming Hull City news and transfer news as we are breaking through the summer transfer window. And I mean, the season it's right around the corner. We start on the 10th of August. Uh, that's when. It Tim Volta will make his uh, competitive uh, campaign start at the Hull City and in England. But we don't really have a squad yet, so we'll wait and see on that front, see what the transfers coming in this summer are. So make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't, do not miss out on any of that. All of the transfer rumours, all of the transfer news and all of the Hull City goodness that you know and love. And I'll see you in the next video. Up the Tigers!